Eh? Eh? This is not the first time I have covered ICP on a 5 minute review. It's not even the second time. This is the third time I have done a 5 minute review on the band, and I am happy to cover this band again. Hi, my name is Chili from Live, Listen, Erased, and on this episode of 5 Minute Reviews, we're going to go into Insane Clown Posse's newest album, Pug Ugly. Whoop whoop juggalos, it's time to take a look at the FBI's favourite band, of course, with the second LP the band have released out of three, relating to the Yum Yum Bedlam albums. This one is aptly called Pug Ugly, and many would say it could describe the band's music, the fan base, or both. I ain't cute, bitch. I'm ugly. As far as the album titles go, it's not as bad as a name as, say, Bang Pow Boom or Tunnel of Love, but it's gotta be up there. This LP is six tracks of new music and one remix song lasting at 29 minutes, and that's just fine with me. The music doesn't change much and follows the style of ICP with If It Ain't Broke Don't Fix It. Dead, misled, bite off a snake's head, I spread hate, dread, and bloodshed because I'm ugly. And the fans of the band will of course enjoy this. The songs themselves are fine, nothing really to jump around about and cause a ruckus, with most themes talking about the ugliness within the world. I did a reaction to their song Abracadabra and it was an okay song to hear but I couldn't recall any of its lines right now doing this review. That might be because the album is still fresh, but it is also lacks any Ric Flair if you catch my drift. <laughs> the other problem is, before I started these reviews, I don't exactly flock to ICP when a new album is dropped. Instead, I would get in a mood and listen to some ICP, then find out they released a new album, and I would play it through, so I guess while I'm not exactly in that frame of mind, this album didn't do any favours to persuade me otherwise. Interestingly enough, the duo worked with Mike E. Clark on this album for the first time since the House of Wax album in 2014. Many fans would know his work mostly during the 90s era of ICP, and others might know his work as a producer for Kids Rock massive hit song All Summer Long. But the less said about that... That shit happened! The reintroduction of Mike E. Clark is surely a welcoming one to the fans, and yes, the production is very nice here, but I can't say that it was ever an issue on any of their last couple of albums, really. Maybe he will guide the band in future releases, but I guess we will have to wait and see. I don't think there is much more to add to this review, really. ICP are rapping about various unpleasantries in the way that only ICP can do, but there are better albums in their back catalogue that cover a lot of common themes found on this album. Overall, this is a fine album, but not a very memorable one, and I would rank it 600,000 chilies on the spicy scale. Maybe I need to play this through one last time, but I feel a bit drained after hearing this album, to be honest. It's not as enjoyable as Wicked Vix, so let's see how the upcoming third LP, Woe the Weeping Weirdo, which, if I were a betting man, would cover depression and heartbreak and other areas like this. Guess we are a few months off before hearing this album. Thank you for tuning in to this episode of Live Listen Erased. And if you have enjoyed this episode, make sure you share it with all your friends. Don't forget to subscribe to our Chili Con Carnage crew so you can get notified for all the future videos that we put out, as we put out videos every Friday. Also, we are on Discord, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter over at Live Listen Erased, so make sure to tune in over there. And don't forget to like this video so that our manager can stay very happy.